yo, hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing Buffy Season 8, Issue Number 20. Take a look at that. Uh, both comic covers are good. I suggest picking up both of them if you get a chance. Um, issue Number 20 is more of a standalone issue than anything. Um, it doesn't connect with the previous story arc, and it doesn't connect with the story arc coming up with Harmony in it. Um, and this is a homage to the Buffy cartoon show that never came out, in that um, it's done in the art style of the cartoon show. Take a look at that. Now, if you want to, you can go on YouTube and just type in Buffy cartoon, and you can get the one trailer that's there for the show. And it's actually a pretty good trailer. I, I really would have liked to see the cartoon come out, but it didn't come out, so, oh well. Anyways. Um, the whole premise in this is it's just a big dream sequence that uh, Buffy's having. After she goes through like a week of playing stuff, she goes and she just collapses and falls asleep. She has this dream, and it's back in high school when she's a freshman, when she first meets Angel, and first meets Giles, and Willow, and Xander, and <coughs> Dawn's there, and her mom's alive, and it's just kind of like a nice little happy fantasy world for Buffy. And it deals with her going around and taking care of vampires and stopping the apocalypse, you know, all that fun stuff. And it's a really nice homage and a playback to Buffy way back in season one and two. Um, in that throughout the whole entire dream sequence, Buffy consciously knows it's a dream and keeps on commenting on, you know, how great it is that she gets to go back where everything's simple and, you know, it's not like this huge army of slaves, it's just her and, you know, she can be a teenager and all that jazz and kind of stuff. Um, with that said, eventually she wakes up and she realizes that nothing has changed between those years. You know, she's still a slayer, she still has to save the world, and you know, her life is not her own, it, her duty is her life. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a very, very nice issue. Um, there's not much to say about it individually. Um, the art style, again, is in the cartoon art style, but it's very fun and kooky art style. For a dream sequence, it's very accessible. You'll find a lot of dialogue is the same as the trailer for the Buffy cartoon. However, it still fits well, and the uh, dialogue still flows really well. I have to say I really enjoyed the issue. Um, it's not necessary to pick up. Die-hard Buffy fans definitely should pick it up. But, um... Pick it up at your discretion. If you want something nice to read, maybe on the ride home on the train, or, you know, in the bathroom when you're taking a shit, or maybe right before you go to bed, pick it up. It's only 2 dollars I mean, it's not that much money. Um, I liked it, but I'm going to leave it up to you guys. So with that said, I'm going to end the review here. This is Andrew saying, peace out for now.